Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So a lot of people have been asking me a very simple question. Why have you not been talking about pixels? Well, don't get it twisted, folks. I am still, still Team Pixel, always will be. Uh, but uh, they're not here yet. And so I, I try to limit my interactions and conversations nowadays on devices that are not physically in my hand. Yes, I can do discussion videos because smartphoneconversations.com, that is what it's all about. Hit the, the website, see the latest uh, post that I have over there. But the Pixel 6a, uh, the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro and a, a lot of other things were announced during Google's I.O. And I did watch uh, and it was cool and everything. My only, my only complaint is that they announced things that are nowhere near, you know, we still have several months before we get them. So, uh, but the Pixel 6a. Uh, is a device that's going to replace the Pixel 5a 5G, and and to me that's really the most impressive one that's that's um, that really caught my attention. Uh, reason being is that it's the same price as the Pixel 5a, which is 449, and then you have basically a Pixel 6, you know, like that you already have. Like you're you're saving a lot of money by going with the Pixel 6a. So I don't know how they're going to keep the 6A or the 6, uh, 6 and 6 Pro in rotation. I don't know if they're just going to push them out the door and just, you know, lay, sell whatever's left. But I do know that, in fact, the Pixel 6A, folks, is going to be a fantastic deal. In my humble opinion, I think that is basically the current devices with a smaller display. It has the same Tensor chip um, and it's basically the same device uh, as the Pixel 6 when you think about it. So... The reason that one is very intriguing is because I think that one's going to be anybody can use the Pixel 6a. Uh, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are probably going to be more towards, you know, tech enthusiasts or people who actually can really find a difference. Uh, the updates and upgrades that they're doing to the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro, to me, um, is just like every other company that's out there. They're, they're doing, they're doing an incremental update uh, and they're just going up to the next number. Now, while some people are going to be ecstatic about the new look of the rear, I get it. Um, it's fine. I'm excited about the way it looks, too. But uh, in reality, I think all of the people who are excited about the 7 and 7 Pro can pretty much get the 6A, and you probably will be really happy with it. Screen size is 6.1. Uh, you've got the Tensor chip. You basically, again, have the Pixel 6, uh, just with a little bit smaller display. And if, if I'm you know excited about anything, it's about that smaller display. Having a smaller device nowadays, because we all put cases on our devices, and it, it makes them bigger. Uh, it brings them, it makes them wider, it makes them taller, whatever the case may be. And that is why I'm a huge fan of the Pixel 4a. You know, the small one, that, that's a fantastic size device. Now, granted, when you're watching content and things like that, you're going to run into a situation where you might want something a little bit bigger. But that is... Not the case with the Pixel 6a. It's got a 6.1 inch display, basically. And so that is a, when you think about it, that is a huge display. When did a 5.8 inch display become a small display? You think about how our minds have become programmed. Uh, we're using 6.9 inch phones. You know, it's uh, so incredible. Uh, 6.8, 6.3, 6.5. I think 6.1 to 6.2 is, is like the sweet spot. If you're going to be rocking a case and you want something that's going to be easy in your pocket or whatever, and you're just going to want a large display that can still do things, but it's not too big. Now, I often talk about small powerhouse devices, and I really didn't know what to expect when it came to the 6A. I was thinking they were going to probably still use a Qualcomm processor. No one really knew, uh, but Google has officially done it now. They've put it out there that, hey, look, this is this has the Tensor chip from the current generation of 6 or 6 devices. So, folks, this is a huge win. The only problem with that is that let's hope and pray that the when they launch, Google did a better, they, they've done a better job at launching the device. And maybe that's why it's not coming out for several months of the recording of this video. Uh, maybe they've learned a lesson from the Pixel 6 launch and Pixel 6 Pro because... It, while I didn't have any bugs at, at the very beginning, the bugs hit me down the line and the bugs went away pretty much before I got rid of them. So, which was just last month. So, um, it is May of the recording this video, by the way. So, I, I think that Google, I, I'm hoping that Google learned a hard lesson about launching a product when it just didn't seem like the software was ready to go with the chip. And I remember saying before the devices launched, 
if the chip fails, the device is going to fail. And what else changed with the Pixel devices other than the uh, internals, the chip? So that chip, hopefully Google worked it over and, and they're really giving us a Tensor Chip 1.0 or 1.2 version in the 6A while the, the 7s are getting just the latest version of the uh, the second generation of the Tensor Chip as they put it. We really don't know what these companies do with their with their, with their their um, products, folks. We only know that they bump it up a number and call it the next best thing. And that's not just Google, that's every OEM. So. I'm hoping uh, that uh, we do see a, a, a much improved, because honestly, what's gonna happen, because there are a lot of people out there, folks, that are still having problems with their Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, and I just I just can't believe that. But I'm going to believe it, because I was the first one to step out and say, oh, you guys are kind of over-exaggerating. But then, the problems hit me, and I was like, whoa, I, I need to go back and apologize to these people who <laughs> publicly, I don't have a problem doing that. Uh, so that's what I did. And you know, my my I was right in line with everybody else when it came to bugs and things like that with the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So a little frustrating. I never really got a solid fingerprint reader on my Pixel 6 unless I had just no screen protect, just nothing on it. The Pixel 6 Pro, on the other hand, fingerprint reader was flawless every time. So I'm hoping that the the bugs that could possibly be there for the Pixel 6a are getting worked out right now. Because folks, I can guarantee you if the Pixel 6a and 7 and 7 Pro launch with bugs, Google's going to find themselves in a very tough position because they're they're bringing three new devices out and and we're not going to talk about the watch, but they're bringing three new devices out that should be ready for prime time because, you know, you've always got test dummies and, and I'm not calling people dummies, but I'm just saying you, you've got the, 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 the testers out there sometimes when you launch a device. And really, the companies, they're not going to say that, but, you know, they got to put it out there and see if it's going to work. It happens with every every company. So the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro, they actually do have a ton of people who have had no problems, which is a good thing. So there are a lot of people out there that have no problems, and I can see them in my comment section when I post videos about them and stuff like that. People say, I'm not having any problems. I've never had a problem. And, you know, hey. It is what it is. There are some devices out there that just haven't had a problem. Like I said, my initial impressions of the devices, I had no problems for about three weeks and then all of a sudden, boom, everything hit me like a brick. So with that being said, uh, for, for the people that keep asking me and saying, hey, are you gonna get this? Are you gonna get it? Are you getting it? Um, I, I definitely am getting the Pixel 6a for sure. Don't know about the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Uh, Google has always sent me several of their devices because of Team Pixel, and I appreciate them doing so. So if, in fact, they do send out a Pixel 7 or 7 Pro, I appreciate it. Uh, they sent out the 6 Pro, and I bought the 6 because I really wanted to check it out and compare them. And, you know, ultimately, they were they performed the same. Everything was it was pretty decent on both of them. So I'm hoping that, um, and they also, I think, no, I think I bought, the, I don't remember. Uh, but they do normally will send me out whatever current device they have in, that's going to be in production, and that's that's fine. If they don't, whatever, I'm still going to buy the device. So, you know, it, it is what it is because I really like Pixels. It's always been like that. So, uh, and I want to see just how well of an upgrade um, the Pixel 6A, or 6a is to the 5a. This device right here has been consistent. It has the hard the hardware on the fingerprint reader, the hardware fingerprint reader, it has a headphone jack, it has phenomenal cameras. And this in fact won a camera battle that I did recently with the OnePlus 10 Pro, the S22 Ultra, and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is the camera that you guys picked in a blind camera test. So Google is definitely doing something right with their cameras. So I'm hoping that they can continue this type of deal uh, with the 6A and the 7 and 7 Pro. But more importantly, the 6A needs to impress because this is an impressive uh, piece of hardware and software altogether. This phone is really, really good. So if Google does bring out the 6A and it knocks it out of the park, I think you'll see a lot of people praising that device uh, over this, because again, I'm shocked that people are still having problems with their 6 and 6 Pro. But I think that Google's doing it the right way this time by, you know, I don't I don't like that the devices aren't launching until like July or whatever, uh, but I, I'm hoping that that's because they're trying to do it right uh, and they're making sure everything is done on the device to where it's going to work out of the box and it's just going to be a good, smooth uh, transition for people. Now, 
what I don't like is that every every company has got on this train about let's remove the charger and let's remove the headlight. That is just one of the dumbest things, and it's such a bad deal for companies, man. Uh, you know, the good thing is that there are a lot of companies out there that are still putting a charger in the box, but I don't like this this trend of we're just going to take away the charging brick and say we're saving the environment. No, <clears throat> you're charging us more money and you're still uh, taking things away. So one thing I believe the 6A does not have a, a headphone jack, if I'm not mistaken, and that's not a good thing. Um, uh, you know, I, I will prefer a headphone jack. And I also will prefer that a charger is a brick is in each one of my phones that I'm purchasing. But we're here and I'm really hoping that OEMs at some point stop doing this. Stop taking things away and charging us more. That's just a fact. So, it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. A quick discussion. You can stop asking me why. Um, I, I get hit a lot with this. <clears throat> Even if I'm doing videos that are not on the Pixel, people think I've, like, I'm not interested in Pixels anymore for some reason. That's totally not true. Uh, the Pixel 5a, to me, folks, is one of your best options for a Pixel right now. Uh, no way fans are bust. It is one of the best options. Uh, it may not have all the bells and whistles of the current generation, well, the 6 lineup, but this is a reliable device, and I think you will be very happy with it. I, I can guarantee you, I've been using this since launch, and it is absolutely great. Consistent. It's got all the latest updates and patches, if that's your thing, and I've not had any kind of problems with it uh, to this day. The overheating thing was at the beginning, I believe, but uh, that since went away, and I'm good. I saw Mobile Geezer's video recently, I think, with the 5A, and he was saying he's still having uh, heating issues. I was like, whoa, you know, but I guess it's possible. So are you impressed enough with the 6A just by based on what Google is saying to you uh, to switch it out, uh, switch out your 5A or just get rid of your 5A and upgrade to the 6A? Leave a comment down below. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.